over down there where that blue car is down there. It was all smoky and I could hear a fire. Just thought it was next door. Having a bit of a burn off. Anyway, turns out it wasn't. So um, all those cars that have been brought up towards us, they were right next to that grass, parked in front of it. I had to move them out of the way. Anyway, I walked down through this bushland. I'll go for a walk down there in a minute and show you this. Uh, assessed what was on fire. Okay, so that car was down here. This one that's under a car cover is down here too. Parked up just up here. Just in front of all that long grass there. So we've got one, two, three, four cars, boat, jet ski, cabin, container. And then I'm going to come down here. Throw that over there. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, so come down here to assess the situation. You can see how bloody long this grass is. Must be fucking eight foot tall in some areas. Walking through here. Or oh. running through all this shit here. Not knowing what the fuck's in this grass. Just trying to figure it out. I think I got to about here and I seen the fire. And keep walking. I'm gonna have a look at and see what it's done. So yeah, she was um going up pretty quick. Oh yeah, took care of all that. The fire has got here pretty quick to get it out. So um yeah bit lucky anyway there's another little dam down here so wouldn't have been totally bad but yeah if you keep going that way it just just goes into bushland so yeah lucky actually So he went down to the dam almost. Crazy. Yeah, I just came outside for a drink in the outside fridge. Seen some fire. Oh, didn't see the fire. Seen the smoke. Heard it. Just thought it was next door having a bit of a burn off. And then, um, yeah, it got bigger and bigger and louder and louder. Well, shit, I've got to go check this out. Come down here, check it out. There's a little fire, not much bigger than that little pile of grass that's still standing there. I go, yeah, I'm not putting that out. I don't have a hose or nothing. I've got to get down here, get something sorted out, <clears throat> get the fires down here. It took about five minutes, and in that five minutes, it's gone from about that size of little pile of grass there so that <clears throat> so that's, that's crazy yeah they spread fast eh? so <laughs> yeah I was pushing those cars out of the way because I didn't want them burning so yeah I guess it's uh, just a um, bit of a reminder that fire season started and yeah get ready for it have a plan yeah, so it's gone down to that um, back fence there, down to here. So it's got to be at least 30 metres that way. So it's got to be maybe 30 metres by 20 metres in about five minutes flat. Yeah, so I set this um, hose here up to go up to the main house. It's just a normal garden hose. It's not going to do much, but it's going to stop it. 
if it were to start up again, which after going down there now and seeing how much water they've used, I doubt it's going to start up. But yeah, just in case. <laughs> but yeah, going to have to do something about that, I reckon. But yeah, I was worried most about that car because I want to work on getting that going pretty soon. And then, yeah, it was backed up. Like, that's the dead patch there. It was like, what, two, maybe three metres total away from all that grass. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't have taken much to get that car going. Plastic bumper get going. And the tyres, fuel tank, all over, over, over. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Bit of an adrenaline rush anyway. Anyway, I guess it's... um. Just a reminder to yeah, be wary around your surroundings and be fire safe, especially in the fire season. Anyway, I'll cut it there and thanks for watching.